Number 17. If the sun suddenly turned off, oh goodness, we would not know it until its light stopped coming. How long would that be? If the sun is 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters away. All right, so in order to find time, if we know a distance, right, we're probably dealing with a velocity is equal to the distance or a, really the displacement right over time. But in this problem, we're really just considering speed basically. So speed is equal to distance over uh, time. So if I want to find how long, just simply cross multiply the time on out. All right. And in order to solve this, we need to know the distance, right? So that's 1.5 times 10 to the 11th. And what's the speed of the light? Well, speed of light, right? It travels in a vacuum. So that's going to be three times 10 to the eight travels in the vacuum of space. All right. So let's see what this would work out to be. So this would be 1.5 times 10 to the 11th divided then by three times 10 to the eight. It's about 500. So 500 uh, seconds, right? It'd take about 500 seconds. So how long is 500 seconds in terms of a minute? Well, simply take that and divide it by 60. And that would be about eight and a third. How did that happen? Eight and a third, 8.33 minutes. All right, that's about how long. So if the sun turned out, we wouldn't know it for about eight and a third minutes later, right? Actually, if you ever think about it, right, when you stare up and gaze at the stars, because I'm, I'm sure you do, I mean, who doesn't, right? Um, if you sit there and, and you kind of just think about some of the light you're seeing is, you know, tens, if not hundreds or possibly thousands of light years away. And what that means is that the light you're seeing now, the light that is hitting your eye from that particular star, let's assume it's a thousand light years away. The light that is hitting your eye today was emitted from that star a thousand years ago. So it's almost like you're looking back into the past, right? It's kind of interesting if you really think about it. Um, and that's what you tend to do when you study physics for too long. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Help us out by subscribing if you can. Check out some more of our videos. We have pre-calculus and chemistry videos up. And uh, check out some more of the physics stuff. We'll see you soon.